Summer's here and I'm gonna show you guys how to make one of my favorite summertime desserts. Although you could actually make this any time of year, it's delicious. We're gonna be making a keto strawberry shortcake. Let's get started. We're gonna start by prepping our strawberries. So I have one pint or eight ounces of strawberries here. These are all washed and chopped up into small little chunks. And I'm gonna add a teaspoon of sweetener to them. You can use monk fruit or swerve, whatever sweetener is your favorite, add that to it. And then some lemon zest. Stir it together and set it aside. We're gonna move on to making the cake. In a small bowl, we're gonna whisk together our almond flour, baking powder, and salt, and then set that aside. In a large bowl, we're gonna whip together two eggs and one egg white. You wanna mix it until it's white and foamy, and then we're gonna add in our sweetener. And then continue to beat this until it's thickened and it's pale yellow in color. It should take around three to five minutes. Next, you're gonna gently fold in the egg mixture into the flour mixture. tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, two tablespoons of melted butter, and two teaspoons of vanilla. Mix it together until it's combined, and then we're gonna pour it into our cake pans. I'm gonna be using two six inch round cake pans. These are greased, and then I have a layer of parchment paper down at the bottom just so it comes out easily when I cook it. You wanna pour equal amounts of cake batter into both of your cake pans, and then bake it at 350 degrees You want to let the cake cool completely before assembling your keto strawberry shortcake. So while my cake is cooling, I'm going to move on to be making the whipped topping. Now this whipped topping does not contain any sweeteners to it. Because the cake and the strawberries already provide enough sweetness, I didn't want to add any additional sweetness to my whipped cream. To make keto whipped cream, we're going to add two cups of heavy whipping cream to a bowl along with one teaspoon of vanilla. You wanna beat that together until it forms stiff peaks. Now it's time to assemble your keto strawberry shortcake. So we start with one of our cake layers and then we're gonna lay down a layer of those sliced strawberries with the lemon zest and then top with half of your keto whipped cream. Place down another shortbread cake round and repeat the process. Cake is absolutely phenomenal in the summertime. I love it when the strawberries are fresh and in season. You guys definitely need to make this. I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Have a good one, bye.